Hey YouTube family, it's Lola from Lola's Life Lessons. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. I sure am, even though it's cold outside. It is November. So today, um, the video that I'm going to be doing today is about OMAD. Basically, OMAD and how to start OMAD. So if you don't know what OMAD is, OMAD is basically called one meal a day. So OMAD, one meal a day. Not everybody knows what that means. So I thought I would share and I'm always being asked, what is OMAD? So that's what it is. So as I mentioned, that's the number one question I get. Lola, how do you start? How do you start? How did you start OMAD? So basically how I started OMAD was I didn't just jump into it and say, okay, I'm just going to now eat one meal a day. I literally, I, I, gra I literally built up to it. So what does that mean? What I did was I, I made a decision one day and for all of you guys out there that are interested in OMAD, it actually starts with a decision. So I made a decision. I wanted to lose weight and I had tried everything, nothing worked. And I decided that, okay, I'm going to try this. And thankfully for me, it worked. So basically what I did was I decided that I was not going to eat after 6 p.m. So I ate my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner, and I ate whatever I wanted. Um, sometimes it was junk food. I had my snacks. I always had a dessert, ice cream, cake, whatever. But as I mentioned, I would stop eating at 6 o'clock. So I would go from six o'clock until 10 o'clock and then I would go to bed and then I would wake up at eight o'clock and then I'd have my breakfast. So now, friends, so now I've gone 14 hours without eating. So if you do the same thing, you're going to be going 14 hours without eating. So that's a really wonderful 14 hour fast right there. So what I was doing was I decided that, wow, I could do this. I could literally, you know, uh, fast for 14 hours. So I pushed the envelope a little bit more and I started to eat at um, nine o'clock. So that, that's a 15 hour fast. And then I was going to 10 o'clock, which is a 16 hour fast and so on and so on. I think you have, you're getting the idea here. So basically what I had worked myself up to was where I was fasting um, 24 hours a day fasting 24 hours a day and then at five o'clock I would have my dinner and I allowed myself to have one hour eating window and I was eating all of the wonderful foods that I loved Popeye's chicken you know fries whatever I wanted I was eating pasta whatever I wanted during that one hour period and then at six o'clock I would close my eating window and then I would not eat until again 20, 23 hours from that point. So that's how I, how I did it. I didn't just one day decide, okay, I'm going to eat one meal a day. No, I worked up to it. Now, some of you guys have asked me, um, uh, what to expect on day one, what I had, ex what I, what to expect on day one is that you're going to eat. I mean, your brain is going to your brain, your mind, is going to play tricks on you. You're going to crave things during that that period of where you're um, right after dinner and while you're sleeping. And that's what I that's what I experienced. Uh, after dinner, I was done eating, and then of course my husband and my daughter decided they were going to have their snacks. And of course, you know, I used to have the snacks with them, so they would have their chips and they would have ice cream or nuts or whatever it is that they were having and of course I felt tempted I was extremely te tempted and it was pretty hellish um I wanted to eat what they were eating and that's where my willpower came in and that's where your willpower will come in where you're going to say to yourself you know you want to lose this weight and you're not going to give in to the temptation uh you know when you wake up in the morning you will get something to eat so it's not like you're never going to eat again. You will eat again. You just cannot eat at that particular time. So 
basically your willpower is going to get you through that really difficult time. Now, you, like I said, you're going to feel tempted when other people are eating. Uh, you will, when you're sleeping, you're going to, your brain is going to say to you, you know, go get something to eat. You're hungry, go get a little something, but you're not going to listen. You're going to sleep. If you need to get up and have some water, you're going to get up and have some water, but that's it. You're not going to eat during the night. We do not eat during the night. No, 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 no. That's not good for you. So that's how I did it. Uh, that's what to expect day one. Uh, you will have some temptations, as I said. And um, I did do a video of where I had gotten to the uh, point where I was eating uh, fasting for 23 hours. And I was so excited. It was it's a pretty amazing video. And when I look back at it now, it's really wonderful to watch. So I'm gonna link it um, down below. And I might even do a little split screen so you can kind of see like a little face shot of me um, where I was actually, where I had actually started my one meal a day journey. Hello, Lola, from uh, a year ago. Um, that's pretty exciting. So uh, I guess that's about it, guys. Um, what else is there to say? But um, I want you guys to uh, go into this journey optimistic. You can do it. I never thought I could do it. I I started off at 167 pounds, and I my goal weight was 150 pounds because I didn't even think I would get that far. And here I am, you know, surpass my weight loss goal. Um, and I am so happy and I feel so grateful. So now what I would love for you guys to do is, um, I am on, um, Instagram, I am on Twitter. Now, the reason that I'm mentioning those social media things is because, you know, I think we all need support and I really found a lot of support on social media, especially Instagram, because, you know, it's nice to have other people supporting you that's going through what you're going through and I mean, I think that really helped me as well. Now, I want to be honest with you guys that I did have some AIDS while I was doing OMAD, and I have mentioned this in other videos. So the aid that I used was during the fasting times, what I used to help me deal with the hunger pangs was I drank a lot of water. And drinking a lot of water tricks the body into thinking you're full. The other thing I did was I would sip on apple cider vinegar throughout the day. So this is the one that I used. It is the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Hope you guys can see that, hope it focuses. Now, there's tons of videos on YouTube about apple cider vinegar and weight loss. Now, basically what I did with that was I put a tablespoon in a glass of water and I would sip on that and I would drink up to six glasses of water a day. Uh, the other thing I did was I used um, the black seed oil. This is the brand that I use at first. It is the Karen Hope brand. But what I started to notice with the, this brand was they could never keep it on the shelf. So I would buy it at Healthy Planet, which is for Canadians. I don't know if Americans, if you guys have Healthy Planet, but that's where I would buy it and they could never keep it on the shelf. So I decided that I would just order it online. So I found another wonderful brand that you guys told me about, which was uh, the Amazing Herbs. And that's the one that I'm using now. And they're both the same. I, I get the same results with both. So now that's the one I'm using and I ordered that on Amazon. I'll put the links down below for you guys as well. So now with the black seed oil, what you do is you add a teaspoon of black seed oil to a glass of water. Some people add raw honey to it. I don't anymore because I find that the sweetness of the raw honey kind of stimulates my, stimulates me to eat. And that's what you don't want. The black seed oil is an amazing app um, appetite suppressant for me. And so is the black seed oil. So that's what I used to help me. And yeah, that's what I used. So I want to mention to you guys that I have a website slash blog. And I'm looking for people that have had success with OMAD. So, I'm so if you are an OMAD success story, please send me your story. I'm going to put a link down below so that you guys can see where to send your story. And I would love to feature you on my blog. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. 
hit that like button, uh, get down into the comments, and I would love to see some discussion regarding what I talked about today, regarding this topic. Please share, please share your stories, share your questions, and I want all of you guys just to stay happy and stay healthy. Bye for now.